all. Good evening. I'm Ted Henry. A whole lot has happened in the stadium. 68 year history. News Channel 5 John Kosick joining us now live with more tonight's celebration and farewell to the Rubber Bowl, John. Hey, Ted, you know what, what I really loved about this night is the fact that no matter who I talked to, everybody had a story about the Rubber Bowl. And tonight, that story got a final chapter. The stands at the Rubber Bowl filled tonight with people from all over Northeast Ohio. They're here for one reason. It's history. It is the last of the 324 games the University of Akron has played here since the stadium opened in 1940. Mary DiDonato started coming in 44. She's back tonight for old time's sake. Do you remember the first game you came to? Yes, I did. I was a Garfield student. We won for four years. Wow. So I want to come here tonight. Do you remember this place being packed for some of those high school Absolutely. games? Absolutely, yes. And think student Thanksgiving Day games, too. Yes, if there were games that truly defined this 30,000-seat stadium, they were the Turkey Day matchups. I mean, bleachers was full of snow, and it was a beautiful thing. I don't care who was playing, Firestone, Kenmore, whoever it was, it was just a beautiful thing. Beautiful is also what the new home of the Akron Zips will be. The $61.5 million Imposition Stadium under construction on the university campus will have all the modern amenities and conveniences the fans expect these days. Yes, while the Rubber Bowl has its charms, at 68 years old, it doesn't have much else. What are you going to miss about this place? Not a darn thing. <laughs> I'm, ready for, I'm ready for Imposition Stadium. It's going to be nice. Ah, and there she sits tonight at the new Imposition Stadium. They only broke ground on this stadium back in April. They've come a long way in seven months. The first game will take place here September 19th of next year against the Hoosiers of Indiana. Reporting live in Akron, John Kasich, News Channel 5. Thank you, John.